Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel. I am super excited because today, well, I at the 1st of December, I started watching the December daily videos that were coming up in my notifications. And I wasn't really planning on doing a December daily, but I thought it looked interesting and I wanted to see what people were doing, okay? So, day number three now... I'm just so, I was so inspired and got so excited that I decided to make one. So if you are getting inspired like me, it's not too late. It's only December 3. We're only three days in. You can catch up just like I'm trying to do right now. I think I kind of have. So tonight, what I did to uh, make this journal and try to play catch up here for the three days is I decided on my cover so today just by coincidence like this morning i hadn't decided to do this i think by the time i got home or by this afternoon i was like i i really want to do this so uh i started thinking and so on my lunch break today just by coincidence i did not like i said by lunchtime i hadn't decided to do a december daily okay <laughs> but i went to tuesday morning today because I wanted to look for Christmas paper for next year, for next Christmas. Okay, I like to kind of have it ahead of time and not like wait and have to like order it online or something. And, you know, Tuesday morning has great deals. So I went by one Tuesday morning uh, on Friday when I was off from work. And they didn't have any, we have two Tuesday mornings in, in my area, but in the city where I work, but one, this one I went to on Friday had no Christmas paper. I think they had some 6x6 six six little Christmas paper pads, but I wanted a 12x12. 12 12. That's what I got last year at, at Christmas. I got two 12x12 12 12 Christmas paper pads for this year. So today I went to the other Tuesday morning, and I did find quite a few uh, little paper pads. I mean, uh, you know, 12x12 12 12 paper packs for Christmas, and I found this one. There was only one, and I actually found it where it wasn't supposed to be. I found it in a clearance section. I knew it wasn't on clearance, but I said, uh, you know, it was only one, and I said, yes, this is beautiful. I'm I'm getting this, and the price, what was the price on this? This was only $5.99, okay? So it's not like, it's like a kit. It's not a whole, like, paper pad, like 30 or 50 sheets or whatever. It's, um, here's what it's got. It's got, um, it's called a collection pack. It's got two of each of the eight double-sided 12 by 12 papers. And, um, it has a sticker sheet. I'll show you in a second. But, uh, here's the cover, just in case you want to look for it. Because it, it is really pretty. And the colors, you can see, they're traditional colors and very vintage looking or retro looking. Unique paper crafting, graphic 45. It's called Christmas Magic, and this is what the cover looks like, okay? So the papers, I've already broken to them to make my cover. <laughs> so I wanted to get that, make sure I got that done tonight. So here's, just I'll show you, uh, I've already cut these two up, but here's a sticker sheet. Here's another couple of scraps or cutoffs. Uh, this is a sticker sheet. These are all stickers, so, uh, you know, I'm like... My my goal is not to use too much of this because I did actually buy it for this next year, but if I use all of it, that'll that'll just be the way it is. But I doubt, doubt if I would ever, you know, I wouldn't be able to use all of these in my own journal. So I will definitely have some of these stickers left for, for next year. But I just really love every one of these. Uh, some that look like little postage. You can see the December twenty fifth little circles here. Uh, little tags right here just I mean look at that little thing right there so cute little tag uh, little buttons just just really really neat here's a little tab so that's the, st the sticker sheet and these are all double-sided so I'll just kind of flip there's two of each so here's one this is a cardstock too by the way here's the other side of that one so there's two of those. Here's this one that says, Christmas dreams and Christmas wishes. May all your dreams come true. So that's the side of that one. And here's the other side. So two of those. And then here's this one. 
Okay. This one was really pretty. I was debating on using either this one or the one I ended up using for my cover. But I um, yeah, opted for the other one because I'll, I'll tell you when I get to it why I picked that one. But here's this one. Two of these. Really pretty. I don't know where the other one is right now. But <laughs> here's this. Um, I can cut all these little you know, th squares or rectangles out and use them as embellishments or little pockets or tuck spots but that's really cute so here's another one little baby Santa's it says Mary and bright make a wish and here's the other side of that one so two of those we already saw this one that's a cutoff okay so this is the one I used for my cover and uh, it's pretty obvious why I picked it it's because it has this big picture right here okay so this is how this one is that's that side and this is this side but uh, yeah I came home tonight not really having a plan and I wasn't really planning on using this but I said oh I just bought that today maybe I can use some of this and so I opened it up to see what I could use and I was trying to figure out do I want to you know start fresh with a book and kind of deconstruct it and then reconstruct it do I want to try to do uh, you know what kind of pages do I want to do just had a lot of questions because I've never done one before a D December daily but I know I wanted it to be um, I think I really knew I wanted it to be a book some type of book and I was kind of running through my mind all the books I know I have Reader's Digest this that and the other do I look through all my books and find a book or try to find a Christmas book you know <laughs> just all these things were whirling around in my head what do, well, where do I start so what I decided to do was I opened this up and I started looking through really hadn't decided but I did see this and I was like well that's a good size and then I started looking through my books and then I remembered I had some book covers where I had already used the pages from the book and I kinda just have a little stash of book covers in my closet so this was one of the book covers and then when I so when I was looking through my book covers uh, I realized that this one well it looked great with this scrapbook paper this is the book cover this green and it was the right size for this piece of cardstock scrapbook paper right here I mean it fit on there perfectly right so that's what I decided to do I cut this out and uh, used it for the cover but first I made the cover so I just had the two uh, you know front and back covers where I had cut it apart used the pages and so I quick uh, made me a quick cover here. So let me take these are my pages so far. Uh, I, it was just green, and then it had a black edge right here. And I was like, I don't really care about the black edge. I know I want some fabric on here. So I, uh, you know, I put my cover together in the way that I make covers with my uh, chipboard or cardboard spine, and my I use uh, heavy duct tape to uh, tape that on really good and then I use fabric over that so that you can see I put my little grooves in there the way I do it I've shown this on video before if you want to see how I do it and I could probably link a couple of videos be below but so I got my my chipboard my tape my fabric all glued on front and back then I took um, this is my front and back covers so I used this for the front and then I looked for a back now this wasn't the back of this this is a and I felt like this really I mean look how good that matches of course they all came from the same paperback paper pack but um, it's got the holly leaves and it says you know Merry Christmas right there and so it just like went so perfectly so and then I used the same paper in here because there was because there was two pieces I could I had enough to use here and the front and back inside too so that's what that is so um, this is glued over the fabric here and here so I don't know what else I want to do to the cover so as I was you know putting this all together I started thinking about the pages and how many pages do I want this is supposed to be December daily there's 31 days in December do I want 31 pages do I want double like 62 pages so I have enough so um, you know do I get all my pages in and then sew them in and then start doing my December daily 
you know, how am I going to do all that and catch up to December 3rd? <laughs> you can see lots of questions, right? So if you're going to, through the same thing, what I decided was, so I got my cover. I got this done in the last what, whatever time it is, probably an hour. And, um, you know, I had this, this page from the paper pack, and I wanted my first page to be really pretty when you open. You know, you open the, you're going to be, op I'm going to be opening this journal to a really pretty page. So that's what I want is my beginning page. And I'm picturing two signatures. This is a one and a half inch spine. And so I can put, I know I can put two signatures in here. Okay. And so if I do um, have, if I do have, say, uh, well, let, let me just show you this right here, what I've got so far. And then let me, so I don't get ahead of myself. So I got, I got this pretty page to start with. And I know I don't want every page to be like double-sized scrapbook paper. I don't want this on every page. I want some different pages as far as, um, you know, just, just different things I can write on or, you know, glue things on, whatever I want to do. So, like this first page, since it was 12 by 12, I was able to make some pockets here. Okay, I cut my little V out and I kept it here. I heard someone else say, keep your little V. It might have been uh, Barbara at 49... Dragonflies, I'm not sure, but she said, keep your little V, it's a Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I remembered that, and I'm keeping my little V so for a Christmas tree to put somewhere later. But uh, then I grabbed, I know I wanted coffee dyed paper in here, so I grabbed a music page. Now this music page is blank on the back, which is very unusual, but this is from uh, my mom, I think this is from my mom's mu music that she gave me. So I had already coffee dyed it. So that is going to be here. So like I figured out the size of this page by taking my scrapbook paper and just going like this. Okay, I you can't uh, measure side to side. You have to measure and figure how your page is going to fold and look and be in your in your cover. So I fold since it was 12 by 12 paper. I folded it in half and it actually fit perfectly I mean this is all came together so quick um, that it was really crazy because I didn't plan any of this but 12 by 12 paper in this book cover for me worked out perfectly so all I did was fold it in half and I was like well that is perfect you know here's how it's gonna look like this kind of you know and I'll have a little bit of extra space right here which is fine so I figured okay this is gonna be my biggest size that I want my pages and then I folded this up for a pocket so then I got this and it was uh, this was the size I didn't have to cut any off of here of one piece of that music paper that I'm talking about so you can see it fits right inside of this page the size of this page so and it's a little shorter which is fine you know for a junk journal so um, that's my next page right now and then I wanted regular coffee dyed paper and some of my cranberry paper I thought would be pretty in here. Which this is, if you can see, this is one uh, two page uh, section from a composition book. And then, so what I did to this was I was getting ready to cut off the page at sides. And I was like, no, I'll just fold it in. I'll have some, some fold outs here. Then I won't be wasting this paper, you know, with cutoffs. And then I got a coffee dyed, you know, regular coffee dyed paper out, and that's my next page. So day number three, right? We're December third. So already, I have my book cover. I have one. Technically, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pages. Technically, I have 15 pages already to go. And I thought, well, do I want to get the rest of my pages? This, was, this is where I started to get ahead of myself. Do I want to go ahead and get all my pages, sew them in, be ready to go, and journal whatever I'm going to do every day? And I thought, you know what would be so cool about not sewing in my pages is that I can work on this all month, December 3rd through December 31st, 
and have flexibility. Like I can say, okay, what do I want next? You know, what do I, oh, maybe, oh, I don't want that there. Let's move it around here. And, uh, you know, so, you know, like I said, I didn't, I'm not planning it out. So why not have the flexibility of not having your so pages sewn in yet? And I can decorate a page. I can put stuff in my pockets. I can do every probably everything I need to do just about. I could sew on them. I'll have that option because they're not sewn in. I can glue on them. I can, you know, uh, decorate them. Just whatever I want to do. I can put pockets and tuck spots and, you know, embellishments and whatever. You know, flip up, flip down, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, I want to do and have the flexibility of doing all that and moving around and adding or subtracting pages. So that is now my plan to not sew on my pages until January 1st when I'm done with this and maybe I won't. What if I'm not done on December 31st? I have the flexibility of finishing in January and you know maybe I want to get some pictures printed at Walmart or something. And I have to wait for those, you know. And maybe I don't want to sew in my pages until January 15th. So that is my plan to uh, just have that flexibility. And so to get caught up on my journaling for three days, what I'm doing is... Okay, now this is really cool too. What happened was Maria sent me uh, something, kind of like Happy Mail surprise happy mail over the weekend and I think I got it on Monday which was yesterday which was December 2nd so I'm not going to be like real technical about what day I got it on but let's see she sent me some recipe cards and some tags so I thought well December 1st or December 2nd whatever day I got these I'm going to use what Maria sent me so like I could this has blank on the front blank you know lines on the back so I don't know, I might, what I could do is, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me write <laughs> or anything, what I might write down for, uh, you know, the last few days, but I'm going to write on here and somehow put this in here, and so I'll come back and show you what I decided, but this is going to be day one or two, or both, one and two, uh, I'm going to, and look how it matches, the blue coincidence. Uh, but I don't know if I'll put anything here. You know, I have the option of going back and doing something here if I want or putting in a pocket here. I haven't decided. So that's another reason I want to just leave my pages out. I can just, you know, as I come, you know, as I watch other people and as I think of things during this month, I can go back and do them. I can go back and put a pocket here. I can go back and put uh, something else here, a library card or something, whatever, or nothing. You know, I just, I'm, I'm not going to decide right now because I don't know. So, recipe card with writing. May glue it down. I think that's really pretty right there. Uh, the two tags. I want to decorate these. And they're plain on, white on the back, so these would be cool to also glue down somewhere. I don't know where. You know, I can move around, decide, put them together on a, a little pin or something. So, yeah, that's going to be day number one, day number two, something in there. Day number three, I got some more mail from a friend. So, thank you. This is from Aaliyah. I already took her envelope out so that we wouldn't reveal any addresses. But she sent me one of her homemade cards, her handmade cards. And it's so cute. And I cut the stamp off of the envelope. It was a little Santa Claus stamp. So that's going to go on day number three. So that is so cool that I just, you know, uh, it's all coming together. I didn't, like I said, plan a day, December daily. But day number three, Aaliyah saved me with a pretty card to put in here. And so I can glue this in. It's got a little note from Aaliyah. And I'll put this stamp uh, somewhere on the page and maybe, you know, combine it with something else, a little tag or something. But this is going to look super cute, even on if I put on this, I can put on this music page. And I'll probably put the date that I received this so that, um, you know, and I'll put the date on each page, whatever. I could put it over here, I could put it over here. It really looks nice on this music page, and it has music right here. 
Maybe that's why, I don't know, or just the colors go together so well. But uh, yeah, that is my plan. So two days down, and then so I just have to do one more day. Um, I think I did open, I'm trying to think of when I opened Maria's, which would, I think it was yesterday. So December, that would have been December 2nd, so I just have to do December 1st. So uh, yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> so, and then my other options are, you know, as I add, add pages, I can, you know, do some handcraft, paper crafting as far as uh, making some tags and little booklets or, you know, journaling cards or whatever. But I also pulled these things out. This is one of my favorite uh, little cards I've ever found. At a, it's a little invitation and it's a vintage American Greetings invitation. It even has the year right here. But uh, it uh, is so cute. But I have a little plan for this before I put it in my journal that uh, I will share with you when I uh, figure out how to do it. It's something I want to do to it. But I have to uh, remind myself because it's something I've done before in another uh, forum, let's say. But uh, I want to do something similar like I've done before on fabric to this card, but I have to remind myself of how to do it first because I haven't done it since I was a young teenager or or a teenager of some, some age. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, you get the idea. I haven't done it for a long time, so I want to do that. And then, so that opens up, you know, there's writing space inside on the back. And then this is the cards I showed yesterday, and they're so pretty, and I think they would look pretty, really pretty in this journal. And it's, um, you know, I showed it in my vintage, or my thrifted treasure uh, video yesterday, or actually that was today, uh, posted, but this is going to be posted tomorrow, so it was yesterday, tomorrow. <laughs> Am I confusing you? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I'm confusing myself. But uh, yeah, this is another you know option I can write in here, and then this is a pretty recipe card also that Maria sent me. So uh, this is an option. So I just pulled out a few options. You know, I mean, I have other things sitting here from my uh, Christmas journals that I've been working on, and I'm still working on those. So I have all of these options of things, you know, little uh, tags that I have sitting here. Uh, some, oh, excuse me, little, uh, you know, memo, memo papers I can put in here. Uh, something I cut out tonight. Oh, I have my snowflakes punch outs here. I can put some of those in here. These I cut out from my uh, Better Homes and Gardens magazine I got today. Uh, they were a little advertisement uh, for like collectible Christmas tree, ceramic Christmas tree or something that comes along with the magazine. Anyway, these were on there in their cardstock type of thing. So I cut these out. I thought they were so cute and will look cute in one of my journals, either this one or the other ones that I'm working on, but just little pictures. So, you know, so many options that I have just sitting here from working on my other journals. So I I'm going to be uh, coming back and showing you what I decide and how I decide to decorate the pages or write or whatever. So just to share um, with you that, you know, if you want to do one, it's not too late. Just go for it, you know, get it, get it done. And that's what I did tonight. I just, you know, like I had a lot of questions in my head, but I just really, uh, you know, said I'm getting this done I'm, I'm doing this so <laughs> and I got it done so and I think it's going to be super fun not having the pages uh, <clears throat> you know sewn in yet so that's an option if you like maybe um, I was listening to I'm a cool mom and she was saying she wished she had a you know a ring binder but this is kind of like a ring binder uh, right now because I can have that flexibility of adding, subtracting, moving around my pages, and then sew them in. So option, an option to the ring binder. If you don't have a ring binder, don't sew your pages in until you're done. <laughs> so, okay, that's it for tonight. I'm going to go um, work on three pages at least, 
and get them decorated, written on, whatever I'm going to do to them. And I'll come back tomorrow and show you what I did. So if you're doing it with me, get started and catch up with me. And I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!